Newcastle next. What is happening guys it's your boy tc back with another video so this is going to be a very very quick preview in terms of the next game coming up in the premier league uh we obviously face newcastle and uh in terms of our record in the night uh, in the last nine Premier League appearances, we've faced Newcastle, uh, we've certainly beaten them, uh, we've scored 22 goals during that time and Oli Giroud has not scored more goals than any other team apart from Newcastle, so he scored 8 in the past against them, uh, I doubt he's going to be starting this game, most likely we will be seeing Lacazette up top, but... We'll talk through the uh, the, the potential starting eleven. Uh, so obviously Wenger reverted back to the back four in the last game against West Ham, which failed miserably in my opinion. The defence was poor. Um, I think Nacho Monreal needs another centre back if he's going to be playing in the centre back position. So he needs to have two other centre backs next to him in order for him to flourish and thrive within that particular position. So in terms of my starting uh, my starting eleven for this game, I'm gonna take a gamble and say that Wenger will be reverting back to the back three. Uh, this is based on the fact that if Mustafi is fit, um, I, I am certainly sure that he should be ready to go for the next game. So we'll say in goal, obviously, Petr Cech. Uh, the back three will be formed of Shelny, who was poor last game. Again, he's been poor for the last three games, I should say. Uh, we'll have Monreal again, who I'm not in favour uh, of playing in the middle, uh, well, at the back in part, as part of the, uh, the back three. As well as Mustafi, based on his fit the status. Uh, hopefully Ramsey will be back and fit. He had a slight little niggle uh, during um, the last game against Southampton. So hopefully we will see him come back back into the team. Hopefully we're going to see uh, Jack Walsh continue uh, within the first team. He was absolutely magnificent against West Ham. Uh, purely because Shaka has been poor. Shaka certainly has been a massive, massive liability in my opinion. So I hope Wenger certainly will be dropping him for this game. Up top, I guess we will see the front trio, which is Alexis. Again, who's been very, very poor in my opinion. He's not been playing playing at all to the level that we are used to seeing him play at. Um, Lacazette, again, not been utilised enough. And uh, Mesut Ozil, again, his performances have been so-so, but he's not been extremely poor. He's been all right. So that is my um, predicted starting eleven for the game. In terms of us moving forward, so we've picked up two points in the last three games, which is a very, very poor return. I would have at least expected a minimum of six points out of the out of the uh, out of the last three games. Uh, obviously, discounting the Man United game, obviously expecting that we may potentially would have dropped uh, points within that game. So, which is which which obviously took place. But to come away with two points out of nine is extremely abysmal. We are sitting in seventh in the league at the moment, which is very, very poor in my opinion. And um, basically, we need to start putting some points on the board. Or else, as I've been saying in the last three games or in the last couple of weeks or so, the gulf is going to get bigger. The gap is going to increase in terms of the teams above us. We've got Burnley above us. That's, that's really, really frustrating me. They've got a wage bill of roughly about £22 million a year. Guess what our wage bill is? £199 million a year. This was at the last point that these figures were made public. But either way, uh, they are certainly punching above their weight. Uh, I am slightly a bit jealous about their situation. Of course, they haven't spent huge amounts of money over the years or even in the last transfer window as we have. Um, but they are still thriving. So I believe the issue lies with the form and the methods that are being used to train the players. Uh, this is down to the manager, essentially, in my opinion. We are using players in positions that they're not meant to be playing. A good example is Maitland Niles. Maitland Niles learned his craft in the middle of the park, but now we're seeing him at left back, which is absolutely confusing to me. Of course, he had a good time out last time out uh, when he played at the left back position. Made more crosses, more, more successful crosses than Kolasinac and Bellerin so far this season. And that was in one game, ladies and gentlemen. So let that sink in as well. But um, yeah, we are seeing a lot of players being played out of position, which is extremely frustrating. Guess West Ham, Lacazette comes on at the 83rd minute. We find him on the left wing. Obviously, he was dropping in and coming through to the middle. But again, uh, 
Wenger seems to stale to me. His tactics and method are extremely outdated. So hopefully we're going to pick up the three points in this Newcastle game. Of course, do let me know what you think in the comments below. My score prediction for this game is, again, I'm expecting a draw based on how we've been playing recently. So I won't be surprised if we come away with a draw of some sort, maybe a 1-1, uh, but that would be my score prediction. And just a quick reminder, if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do make sure that you do hit that subscribe button. So once again, guys, it's your boy TC from I'm Gonna Talk TV, and I'm out.